What's up guys, Sahaman back and today we are doing a big unboxing. I mean, this is a huge box that you can see right here. You can see probably part of it. So this big box I got from BigBadToyStore.com. Guys, I keep on telling you, check the defective loot section because you can find some good stuff in there. This Hot Toys Armored Batman, which you probably can't see, I got that in the defective loot for pretty much retail. There was nothing wrong with it, it was just returned. Now this one here, we're gonna open it up. It's gonna be a long unboxing because this is something I never got to pick up when it first came out and now it, re it retails between five to a thousand dollars. This here is a McFarlane store exclusive. McFarlane store DC multiverse. This here is a DC poster double-sided. Um, a viewer actually sent me this with a vintage t-shirt. I actually wore the t-shirt. It was a Batman Forever t-shirt, freaking awesome. If I remember, I'll throw some images on the screen, but I wore it with my interview with uh, Richard Centroni. Centrone, sorry. And the vi video will be out tomorrow for that. It's a great video. All right, guys, so I'm gonna open these things up here. Let me get my knife so we can do a, an unboxing. I guess we can start with, uh, let's start with the small one first. Again, this one is from McFarlane Toys. I never picked up this version, this character from this movie. You guys probably know what it is. And I'm glad I waited because I know a lot of fans are mad because now it's he released it more screen accurate, I guess, if you will. And uh, people are upset. People are causing riots. They're going crazy on the streets for this. So I got, this is the gold label flash with the correct colors to the film. So I guess it is just a, yeah, it's a straight repaint. But you know what? I mean, I've seen the other one in store so many times that just looking at this one, just based off of the colors, makes this look a lot different because the other one made, it was just too bright. This is way more of a darker red and um, it looks a lot better. I'm not gonna lie, it does look a lot better. You got the gold label sticker on top. So that's one item right here. This other one, again, a viewer sent me this. I paid for this. I didn't, I didn't, uh, he didn't send me this for free, uh, but with the shirt too. So that was a vintage, actual 1997 uh, Batman Forever shirt. But this is a poster and I'm super hyped for this. You guys probably, no, you guys don't know, but I'm gonna go watch this movie on, uh, on Tuesday, so that is, or Monday, Monday, which is in what, two days or so? So I'm pretty hyped for that. Let's see if I can actually open this. I hate these types of poster um, packaging because how the heck, oh, there it goes. I was like, did I just damage it? But no, it's actually in another tube. All right, so let's open this bad boy up. Here we go. Let's see if I can take this without ruining it. Precious. Precious Venus. Okay, here we go. Oh man. Oh, you guys know I already got, I already picked up some of these, this posters from this movie when I went to uh, WonderCon, but this is an actual double-sided poster. So this is a legit poster. The other ones I got were reprints. And here it is. Worlds collide, baby. Oh man, double-sided. I don't know if you guys can see, ooh, that smell. Can you even guys, can you guys even see this? I don't even know. But here it is. The Flash poster. With the, I think it has the bat wing like somewhere wrecked, right? Does it have the bat wing somewhere? I think it, yeah, it's like wrecked in the background. Oh, it's right here. You can see it right there. You got the bat wing, you got Flash, and you got Supergirl. So this is the Flash poster. I'm super hyped to have this. Um, you probably can't see it at all. So sorry guys, I'm only doing this. I'm doing this one hand. So I got the Worlds Collide or the Flash poster. This is the one of them um, like standing off at the like on a ledge. It looks like I, I was hoping I can get the other where he had the other one where they're all like coming at the camera and Batman's looking to the side. That's the one I really wanted, but glad to have this one here. This is gonna get a frame right away along with the other ones. Uh, so that's one poster that I got. Now, this bad boy right here, I got from Big Bad Toy Store. Again, look at the size of this box, okay? This is a huge box. And again, it's something I never got to pick up the first time around. And I waited and waited because I don't know. And then it, it, it like became hard to get. It became super hard to get. It is Batman related. I mean, this whole video is DC related. So let's go ahead and, um, well, this is, this has got some massive, like some really thick tape on it. Uh, again, link in the description down below for big bad, check the defective loot area guys. They got a Sentinel in there from iron studios. I think it does have like a broken gambit leg and a, a missing, um, Magneto, helmet but you guys check check it out just check it out here it is 
Oh yeah, it's definitely got some scuffs on the box. So, oh man, a box within a box. Can you guys, you guys can already see what it is. Look at this, look at this. There it is, there it is. Batman, the animated series, Batcave. Dude, this is so cool. It has been opened. It does have some scuffs on it, but it's still, it's an awesome piece, man. I, and for the price, you can't, you can't, you can't beat it because this is not, this is not a piece you can come by anymore. So let's open this up. Wow. All the stickers, the backdrop, everything's in here. What else do we have? Styrofoam. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. We got the back computer right here. Oh, styrofoam. Whoa. This is this is freaking awesome. So we got the bat computer, huh? See that? How great is that? If you guys have all the vehicles for this line, congratulations because those are all so hard to get. Looks like this is like a railing. So I'm gonna put this together. This is the only way too. You can get Alfred. You can't get Alfred any other way. They never made him in a single carded release. So oh, I love the smell. It made still has that toy smell. Uh, we got some more little like monitors. Got that. The base is somewhere here. I know the base is pretty big too. Um, so we have, this is the power supply here. This is what actually powers the whole thing. I don't think there's batteries included already. Maybe not. No. So I know I got to buy some AAA batteries, but there's this pieces right here. And then we also have the chair. A lot of stuff, guys. Let me see if I can find the, um, the base. We got Alfred's hands. What is this? Accessories and hands and everything. Plates and all that good stuff. A little base. Um, but I really want to find the base for this. Or is the base... Where is the base on this? Am I missing the base? Because it does, it does have a base. So maybe it's in the bottom of this? I mean, this is a very big box. Here it is. Dude. Wow. Look at that. This is the base right here. There it is. It says there's scuffs on it. Very minor scuffs. There's very, very minor scuffs on this. Um, all right, let me put it together, put some batteries on it and see how it is. So far, this is what we're looking at. I still got to put the stickers and everything, but, and the backdrop looks pretty cool. Okay, so unfortunately I don't have batteries to connect this thing. Um, I thought I did, but I don't. So this is the size of this thing. I mean, this thing is a beast. Now there is a problem. These little stickers that you stick on the monitor, they do not stick, man. They fall like, they're eventually just gonna fall right off. This one keeps on falling off. See, that one's falling off. Uh, the Bruce Wayne one so far is staying on, but it is a cool piece to have. I like the backdrop on this. It's got a little like stairway over here. So you have that there. And then of course you get the exclusive Alfred to go with it. And then, yeah, just the Batcave. I mean, I think it could have used a little more something because it just seems very plain. I mean, it's a cool piece, don't get me wrong. Um, I'm pretty sure once you get the light, everything lit up, it's gonna look even cooler. But still, it just seems very, very plain. Like it just, it just, it needs something. It definitely needs something. But I still like it. I'm still happy to have this in the collection. I think it's just an awesome piece. So I'm really, really glad to get this. So that's it guys. That's my quick unboxing. If you guys want to see a review on the flash figure that fell down, let me know in the comments down below and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have picked up anything from Big Bad Toy Store and their de defective loot, let me know what you guys have picked up. Let me know your thoughts on this and we'll see you guys soon. Appreciate every one of you. Later guys.